Right now, as you watch this video, the universe holds mysteries that could challenge everything we know about reality. Some are not just black holes or exploding stars, but ideas and events based on real signs that seem almost unreal. Scientists are still learning about these, and some could affect our universe in ways we're only beginning to understand. Let's dive into these cosmic mysteries with a fresh perspective. Before we start, hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. After learning about these strange ideas, you'll want to stay updated on what science uncovers next. Let's start with an idea from physics that sounds like science fiction, but comes from solid math and experiments. Vacuum decay. Think of the universe like a big field of energy that's mostly stable, but not perfectly. According to quantum field theory, a key part of how we understand tiny particle, our universe might be in what's called a false vacuum. That's like a ball sitting in a shallow dip on a hill. It looks steady, but a tiny push could make it roll down to a lower, more stable spot called the true vacuum. If vacuum decay starts somewhere in space, it would create a growing bubble where the basic rules of physics change. Inside this bubble, things like the strength of forces between particles or the mass of things like electrons could be different. That means atoms might not hold together, stars couldn't form or shine, and life as we know, it couldn't exist. The bubble would spread out at the speed of light, the fastest speed possible. So if it reached us, we wouldn't see it coming. We'd just stop existing right away without any warning. What makes this idea unsettling is that data from particle experiments, like finding the Higgs boson at CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research in 2012, suggests our universe's vacuum might be metastable. That means it's stable for now, but could change eventually. Recent studies, including one in 2024, that showed the first lab evidence of vacuum decay in tiny systems, back this up. But here's the good news. Calculations show the chance of this happening soon is tiny. The universe's lifetime before possible decay is way longer than its current age of about 13.8 billion years. Think trillions or more years. Still, it's a reminder that the universe isn't forever stable. But vacuum decay isn't the only bubble idea in science. There's something called eternal inflation which explains how our universe might be part of a bigger multiverse. Inflation is the idea that right after the Big Bang, space expanded super fast, like a balloon blowing up. In eternal inflation, this fast expansion keeps going in some areas, while in others, it slows down and forms bubble universes like ours. Each bubble could have slightly different physical rules based on random quantum changes during inflation. These bubbles aren't floating around like soap bubbles, bumping into each other in a scary way. Instead, they're huge regions of space expanding outward, separated by inflating space that's still growing too fast for anything to cross. We can't see or reach other bubbles because they're beyond our observable universe, which is about 93 billion light years across. Inside another bubble, things might work differently Maybe particles have different masses, or gravity is weaker, but not wild stuff like gravity going backward or time reversing. Those are fun to imagine, but not what the theory says. The point is, if eternal inflation is real, and it's supported by math, but not proven yet, our universe is just one pocket in a vast, endless sea of others. That makes us feel small but it also explains why our universe has just the right rules for stars, planets, and life. Maybe there are many universes, and we're in one that works for us. Now, let's talk about something we can actually see with telescopes. Gamma ray bursts, or GRBs. These are huge explosions in space that release a ton of energy more in a few seconds than our sun will put out in its whole 10 billion year life. They happen when massive stars collapse into black holes or when neutron stars smash together. The energy comes out as a narrow beam of gamma rays, the most powerful kind of light. The scary part is that if a GRB's beam points right at a planet from close enough, it could harm life there. 
it might damage the atmosphere's ozone layer, letting in too much harmful UV light from the sun, or cause acid rain and cooling that leads to extinctions. Studies suggest GRBs happen about once every few million years per galaxy, and they've been linked to past mass extinctions on Earth, like one 440 million years ago. But for us today, the risk is low. Our galaxy, the Milky Way, has about 100 billion stars, but GRBs need specific conditions in very massive stars. One star system people worry about is Eta Carini, about 7,500 light years away. It's unstable and could go supernova someday, maybe making a GRB, but experts say it's too far to really hurt. Earth energy would spread out and weaken over distance. Plus, the beam would have to aim exactly at us, which is unlikely based on how the star spins. Recent research from places like NASA shows no immediate threat. Eta Carini might explode in thousands or millions of years, but we'd be safe. Still, GRBs remind us space can be violent, and they might explain why we haven't found other life, yet maybe they reset planets often. But one of the most mind-bending ideas isn't about explosions. It's about whether the universe itself could have some kind of awareness. This comes from a philosophy called panpsychism, which suggests consciousness isn't just for brains, but might be a basic part of everything, even tiny particles. It's linked to quantum mechanics, where particles can be entangled and share information instantly over distances. An information theory, which studies how data flows in complex systems like the universe. Some thinkers say the whole cosmos might act like a giant network, processing information on huge scales, kind of like a brain, but way bigger and slower. Thoughts could take millions of years, stored in things like the leftover heat from the Big Bang, the cosmic microwave background. But this is not proven science. It's a hypothesis without strong evidence. Most physicists see the universe as following rules without needing consciousness. Quantum links happen, but they don't make the universe think like us. It's an interesting way to wonder about reality, but it doesn't mean space is alive or watching us. This idea ties into questions about life elsewhere. We might not be alone, but other beings could be so different we don't notice them. For example, some speculate about life based on plasma, hot gas, in stars, or patterns in nebulae, but there's no proof. These are fringe ideas. Traditional searches for aliens, like SETI listening for radio signals, assume life like ours. But if aliens are quantum-based or energy forms, we might mistake their signs for natural events, like gravitational waves. Again, this is speculation. We have no detections yet. That leads to a bigger puzzle, the Fermi Paradox. With billions of planets in our galaxy that could have life, why haven't we found any signs of smart aliens? One dark idea is the dark forest theory. The universe might be full of life, but everyone hides because space is hostile. Civilizations might stay quiet to avoid attacks from others who see newcomers as threats. It's like animals in a forest at night, silent to not attract predators. This explains the silence, but isn't proven. Other reasons could be that life is rare, or aliens don't use tech we can detect. Another wild speculation is that Earth is special, maybe even set up for life. Our moon stabilizes our tilt for steady seasons, Jupiter blocks asteroids, and our sun is calm. But scientists explain this with the anthropic principle. We notice these things because they let us exist. No evidence, it's an experiment by aliens. That's more story than science. Taking it further, some wonder if the universe fights against life. Physics shows everything trends toward disorder, entropy, and life creates order. The expansion from dark energy, a mysterious force making space grow faster, will eventually isolate galaxies, stop new stars from forming in trillions of years, and lead to heat death where everything is cold and spread out. Black holes will slowly evaporate over an incredibly long time. Like one Google years, that's a one followed by a hundred zeros. A number so huge it's hard to imagine. 
Extinctions on Earth happen regularly, and GRBs might limit space travel. But this isn't the universe hating life. It's just how physics works. The Fermi paradox might mean most civilizations don't last long, facing issues like climate change or wars challenges we face too. Finally, think about the long future. We live in a short star era of the universe, maybe 100 trillion years where stars shine and life can happen. After that, with dark energy pushing things apart, the sky will go dark, no new energy sources. But this heat death isn't the end forever. Quantum effects might create new beginnings, though we don't know. Yet maybe these scary ideas aren't just bad news. The same explosions that could harm planets also spread elements like carbon and oxygen, made in stars, that build life. Challenges like these might push life to evolve and adapt. Vacuum risks or expansions could be part of a bigger cycle we don't understand yet. As we end this look at space's strange sides, remember, knowing these ideas helps us. We can study them, prepare for real threats like asteroids, and explore more. The universe is weird and vast, but it's also where we came from, full of beauty and questions. What do you think? Do these ideas scare you or inspire you to learn more? Share in the comments and subscribe for more science-based space stories. Until next time, keep looking up. The stars might hold answers we haven't found yet. The universe is huge, dark, and full of mysteries that test what we know. But that's why we keep studying, asking questions, and expanding our knowledge. Somewhere in that vastness, among the wonders and worries, is our story in the cosmos.